this is a very exciting roundabout. This is a very exciting roundabout. As roundabouts go, oh, I would it's say, quite good. it's quite good. It's got traffic lights. It's got multicoloured lights. It's almost like a disco. I tell you what, I would not like this guy's job. And he's here all the time. He job. is, isn't he? He's always here. Evening, sir. Con. Thank you, sir. Have a good night. There is a car stopped there, so I'm going to go to number four. Alright, you go for number four. There's no one in there, is there? A California. Oh, there is. There's an ocean. It's an ocean. It's an ocean. Maybe it's an ocean. Because it says ocean on the side. Okay, okay. <laughs> So we're on board, we've done all our checks, we've packed up our motorhome and we're ready for our night crossing. We crossed from Portsmouth to Caen and as you saw we went through all our various checks. One thing I didn't film actually is between moving from the first holding point and the second holding point there is a security thing and we actually got stopped as do most motorhomes and vans and they come on, they ask some questions, they have a quick look round. Uh, to be fair this time i think they only stopped us because they wanted to see the motor like the guy's a massive fan of scramblers and steve mcqueen and he saw uh, our tank and he was like oh that's so cool but i actually think they only stopped us to have a natter about bikes because actually him and the woman were both bikers we obviously we couldn't film any of that so we didn't but that happened so don't be surprised if you get pulled over a lot right here we're in our cabin we've got a four berth inside cabin this time we've actually got two because jade only sleeps with the light on and we like the light off so a couple of tips for newbies who haven't been on a ferry before you only get one pillow per bed so if you like an extra pillow either bring one with you or have a coat or something that you can stuff underneath it to have two um, the rooms are pretty chilly so we always wear slightly warmer pyjamas to bed than we possibly would. Um, what else? The toilets are fairly basic. I'll just show you. Oh, this is the showering. Got a decent shower to be fair. A generic body wash. Towels. And a toilet. And a sink. It'll do the job pretty good. If you're on Brittany Ferries, their breakfasts are awful. Awful. Um, so yeah, don't be expecting a lot. I don't know what the other ferry services are like, but um, Brittany Ferries is not good breakfast. They have pan chocolate and quaffles, but their cooked breakfast is not good. And the toast is always cold and plasticky and yeah, it's, it's not great. One thing which we didn't figure out for about three trips actually, and that's because we're a bit crazy, they do actually have chargers on board, if you're clever enough. If you see behind me, they've got USB chargers. So you can bring them and charge phones, laptops, iPads, whatever you want. Under there, ooh, 
they've got a front plug so if you have an adapter you can charge bigger stuff I've just noticed the artwork in here and um, yeah th those are four mostly naked women sitting on a beach <laughs> I got my hot chocolate. How Thank is it? Thank you very much. It's Come actually on. really yummy. Is it? Yeah, it's proper nice. Good. It's quite rich. It's good. Nice bedtime drink. Thank you. Very really nice. Kid. How busy was it? It's heaving. There's yeah. loads of kids. It's first weekend in Easter, isn't it? It's so, just full of kids. Yeah. Full of school kids, all. Yeah, half are French, half are English, and they're just running riot. It's a nightmare. Up there. I can't believe they do it. They don't give them cabins. No. They just bring them all in on the coach, and then they doss down wherever they feel like. No, it's there carnage. Was, there was a, a, a kid outside with his pillow and his blanket. Oh, really? And his dad, him and his dad. Oh. And they just kind of got to find out. a corner and that's it. Then. Yeah, because they do, they do four birth cabins. They do two birth cabins. Or they do the co Commodore, is it Commodore or Captain's cabins? They're the really popular Captain's cabin, one. yeah. Um, but they can only six three, but they're quite expensive. And then after the cabin... That's what happened on the way back, didn't it, wasn't it? That's yeah, but that was a fluke. Yeah. We didn't book it. No, we, we just got it. For got it. Yeah. Um, and then they do the you can reserve your seats can't you the lounge seats they're like 15 pounds for the crossing and then they're literally like um an airline seat that has oh. slightly better leg room oh. um and they can recline slightly and then after that like on the fast cap yeah a little yeah. bit like they're like the posh seats on the fast yeah. cap yeah, yeah a little bit like that i like the one we were sitting there with jane when she was doing her homework at that time yes and they were quite comfy actually uh, but not overnight you're not going to get much especially if it's busy you're not going to get like any sleep in that move. and then they yeah, just have the canteen and you can just sit in the canteen oh, it's free. Kind of hiding in the yeah they do they just I, well, it doesn't appeal to me at all no, the whole point of doing the night crossing is to get some sleep and we're very lucky because it's been stormy all week hasn't it i'm throwing fingers it fingers crossed it's going to be okay it's calm oh, i haven't got my sea bands on and I get quite badly seasick. You're all right. Where's your sea ones? They're in my bag. I need to okay. get them out. Put them on. I'll get them out. Hang on. Show people because I do get seasick and I've tried everything. And um, I don't like taking tablets. They don't agree with me. Okay, I'm about to show YouTube your underwear. No, try not to. <laughs> try not they to. won't be impressed. <laughs> I'll show YouTube my underwear. They might be impressed about that. There we go. Sea bands. And I was very, 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 very sceptical about these things. But they work. But they do work. And they're literally banned, funny enough, clue is in the name. And they have like this white bubble thing, can you see that in the light? And that goes on your pulse point on your wrist. So they're about there, maybe half an inch just below the. What does it joint. do? It just regulates the flow. And of... It just pushes on that pressure point, and that for some reason, I don't know how or why, I'm sure somebody clever somewhere could explain it, but that pressure just on your pulse point helps stabilize or equalize your. Um, what are those three canals in your ears that I learned all about when she did human biology? The Caledonian. The Caledonian. The, the Suez. Canal. And, and, and the Panama. Rhine. <laughs> Mine is not a canal. I'm sure it is at some the point. The main, I think it's classed as a canal, isn't it? Because the mains are linked between the Rhine and the Danube. Uh, okay. So the Rhine main Danube. What's that one in Denmark? We're, getting, we're, we're digressing. We're digressing. No, 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 anyway, those, yeah. three, so, those three canal things. And for some reason, this helps. And you put one on each wrist. And it just works. The ferry leaves at 10.45 English time. It gets into France 5.45 English time. So we always try and be out of the cabin about 4.45 because the restaurant gets ridiculously busy from about five o'clock onwards. You've got to be out of your cabin 30 minutes before docking anyway, because they start cleaning them then. Um, but it just gets crazy. So we try and give ourselves about an hour before you get in. And we can actually get a table and get some food and not queue for half an hour and it all goes freezing cold. So that's our plan and we will see you in the morning. Good night.
don't know where I'm going. I'm going up. You wanted steak at six o'clock in the morning. You yeah, did. Just saying it's the only thing that I like. I know. You quite like that burger thing. That's that's steak. Is that the steak cachet? Yeah. Because it's basically just steak without a bun. And mm. but they call it a burger. That was your really unsatisfying breakfast. You've actually done quite well with yours. It's still dark. I don't know why I expect it to be daylight. Hi. Mm. <laughs> How are we doing? Mm. No. Is that hot, warm, and furry? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. We're a bit warmer now. No, no, but my feet are so cold. No, no. It worries me that this is the future of, of our planet. <laughs> Civilization is safe. 